Hi everybody, it's Emma Jane here from Johnny McGorry and I wanted to talk a little bit about our most favourite garden bird, our spit oak or our robin. So it's winter time here at the minute in Ireland and everybody has a soft spot for the spit oak because well, there's a little rumour that the old spit oak actually has a very special job to play with a certain man in red that lives in the North Pole. Yes, Santa Claus. And in our house, we definitely believe that the robin watches, not just at wintertime, all year round to report back good behaviour. So the robin is so iconic with its beautiful little red breast. But the baby robins are called a fledgling and they actually don't have that lovely red breast that the adults do. They're actually quite small and they have a lovely brown speckledy gold breast actually until of course they get older and they get the redness. So the robins will live up to about two years in the wild but now some of them have actually been recorded to live up to eight years old and they're really territorial meaning they'll pick a spot and they'll stay around here <laughs> if they're happy with it. With the robin actually it's practically impossible to distinguish a girl from a boy because they both look the exact same and what's really unusual about the robin is that they actually sing all year round they never stop singing but not just the males which is quite common in birds the females actually sing as well so the robins will actually pair up with each other around midwinter and they'll stay together then until the autumn time and basically they'll build their beautiful little nests and I'm sure everybody's seen their nests before. They're really small, they're very cosy because they make them out of nice mosses and they'll even collect little sheep's wool and they'll basically build round little nests. But they don't just build them in trees, no the robin gets very inventive with its nests and it will, yes they might build their nests in the hole of a tree perhaps or in the hole of a wall but they've also been known to build them in quite unusual places so maybe old cars or even if you have an old coat hung up in a shed and they can get in they might build it in the coat or even in letter boxes or barbecue huts so you should definitely keep your eyes peeled for a lovely little spit oak nest. So if you do actually find a robin's nest, well, number one is you shouldn't really touch it, okay? And that's the same with all of our birds anyway, you should just leave them be. But how you'll know it is definitely a robin's nest is by their eggs. So robins lay beautiful, really small, really beautiful blue eggs, basically. And you might find about three or four eggs in a nest. And then the female might actually lay eggs maybe two or three times throughout the summer, well, the spring and the summertime. I really hope you enjoyed learning about the spit oak today or our robin and actually there's a beautiful little spit oak or robin on every single page of Johnny McGorry and the forest flat kyol which is illustrated by Don Conroy. Now, some of them are pretty simple to find but others especially say on this page might be just a little bit harder. <laughs> So I hope you find a beautiful friendly robin outside this winter and all year round and listen to their beautiful singing. And you know what the cool thing is with a robin? If you spend a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, you can actually train them to eat out of your hand. Slán!